What's up guys, Sly Dog Industries back with you again. Today we'll be playing L.A. Noir Remastered for the PlayStation 4, so let's go ahead and uh, get this episode started. Oh sweet dude, the driver's seat. Okay cool, this is the uh, first mission for the traffic desk. Yeah, this is traffic. Cool. And what do we got here? Is that coal? Oh that's coal, okay we're just walking into the police station I guess. Remove all clothes. No, just personal belongings. What do we got here? Okay, so we're transferring to the uh, desk. Come on, let's here's transfer. Desk, You're on traffic. There we go. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's cool. That's Biggs. He's an institution. Well, this is what all the fuss was about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner. Why would you want to live that near the freeway? Bukowski. Forget that. You, Phelps. you go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn. Sweet. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he? He's got a better outfit he's now. Intense. He's actually got himself a suit and a nice hat. Here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. <laughs> Who was that? Roy Earl, Chief Detective and Advice. Roy oh, Earl, Chief star. Detective Advice. Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. There you go. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. There we go. It's two claps, I guess. Two claps. Broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, sir. Really? You gotta stand up and take a bow. Thanks, everyone. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star. Cool. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure is all that. We are partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. If you screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. Oh, let's get down to the depot. A suspicious vehicle. Signs Ooh. Foul play. See what let's you go. Can find out. Come on, Phelps. All right, let's go get in the car. Let's get out of here. New clue, abandoned vehicle, new objective, investigate PE Freight Depot. Let's go down to the Freight Depot. The old Freight Depot. Now, where's the exit? To the right? Is it through here? Where the hell's the exit, man? What the hell? Is it this way? Oh, it's this way. Really pushed you through quick, didn't I? Come on now. Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. Wow. Six years on patrol before you got the detective's job? Dang, right dude. Maybe they gave the job to him early, though, because he was a war hero. Probably, right? Probably because he served. Well, let's get in the car. Do you know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signals. Cool. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You can unlock vehicles just by driving them in this game. That's the whole thing. You, you kind of, like, discover vehicles. So you want to jump in and out of vehicles, trying to collect all of them. Got to catch them all. What are we doing here? Uh, oh, crap. Almost crashed. He went to Stanford? Damn, dude. How the hell did he go to Stanford? Ow. Sorry about that. Dang, dude. He went to Stanford? Man. Ivy League, dude. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years. Didn't he just say that? He just said that. Yes, at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early '45 as a first lieutenant. Fought the cool. Okinawa campaign. Okinawa campaign. Back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. And how the hell do so we? You won the Silver Star. I don't want to is, there talk about is there any way to control the radio stations this in this game or not? I'm not even sure. Killed 40 Japs on this All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and 7th. Any unit to handle, code 2. I don't care about that right now. I could stop off and go right there. 
I could I could have just turned right and uh, helped them on that uh, act of like robbery case or something. I don't care about that though. Let's go to the flag, man. Let's go do this mission right here. It's more important than uh, some minor robbery. Where are these guys anyway? Right here. Cool. 11 a.m. P.E. Freight Depot. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. Yeah, for sure. Just give me your story and you'll be all right. Let's see what we got here. Case, Phelps, it's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Cool. Thanks, Stefan. Thanks, you're Stefan. Okay. Stefan Bukowski, okay, PE Freight Depot. So what are we doing here? We're gonna to talk to this guy. Investigate music playing when you enter a crime scene. Okay, right, right. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Yeah, Someone's what the hell? Full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car. The car is registered to an Adrian Black. Just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. No. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Intuition, huh? Oh, you can show all clues. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I only have one intuition point. I don't know if I want to waste that. Do I want to waste my intuition point right now? I don't want to waste it now. What's the point? There's no point. Let's talk to Mr. Wilkie real quick. Talk to this guy first. Or should we look? Yeah, let's talk to him. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. All right, let's talk Why to him. What do you got here? You doing out here? Probably well, just I'm working or something. Railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Well, he looks like he's being honest. I mean, he's not... Yeah, he looks like he's being honest. He's not lying. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. <clears throat> I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. All right, well, that's that. Knowledge of Adrian Black. Does he know him? Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Can't tell if he's... He looks like he's being honest. Yeah, he's being honest. Yeah, that's fine. He looks like he's being honest. Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. All right. Patience, nice, we got experience on that one. Five hidden longer, vehicles? Sure what? Cool. Okay, what are we doing here? We need to look at this car. Oh, yeah, we can open the trunk. Right, right, right. Forgot about that. I kind of remember this case a little bit, but not too much. I can't remember who killed anyone, so... It's going to be a surprise for me when I find out, I guess. It doesn't appear to be connected. Uh, nothing there, huh? What do we got here on the left? What's this? This piece of evidence right here? Let's open that sucker up. What is this? F. Morgan. Ooh, I got a trophy. One for the file. Nice. Dang, dude, he paid $3.20 for a full hog? Man, that's a lot of pork. Sweet, dude. 47. Wow, it's, it's okay, so it's uh, 1947. Jeez. Uh, do we got anything else in here? Nope, that's it. Okay. What's, uh, what do we got here? Wow, it's a lot of blood. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, man. Looks to have lost a lot of blood. Dude, look at all that blood. My god, man. Yeah, what the hell happened in here? Oh my god, dude. What about this guy over here? You got anything to say? Oh wait, we got a clue over here. What is this right here? We got glasses and a wallet, right? 
What do we got in the wallet? Is that uh is that the guy or what's this? Happier times, I guess. Okay, so I guess that's the husband and wife. Huh. Okay. What about this over here? Got his address. Mrs. Black, cool. Married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Yeah, what the hell was he doing out here? All right, we got that. Wallet's cleared. We got his address. And what do we got here? Glasses, huh? What do we got here? Do we have anything here with these glasses? or? There we go. What do we got here? Stenzel glasses. Okay. Stenzel glasses. I don't know how that's... I don't know. I, I don't know if that's relevant or anything like that, but okay. We got stencil glasses. Anything else around here? Do we have any more clues or anything like that? Oh, here we go. We got a clue right here. What is this over here? Ooh, that's blood. That is a bloody looking, uh, Jesus. Insta heat. Brand name might give us something to go on. Okay, we got ourselves a big pipe with blood all over it. All right. Insta heat, huh? All right, so it looks like we got all the clues here. Let's go ahead and head out. Let's go to let's go to let's go to the guy's address. Come on now. Let's go talk to Mrs. Black. Do I want my partner to drive or do we want to drive? I think we, I think I'll just drive cuz the partner's going to take way too long, dude. Wait, do we need to talk to someone here or hold on? Well, do we need to talk to someone here, or do we need to, like... Let's go to Black Residence real quick. Let's go. Let's go talk to Mrs. Black. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. I think... So, what do we tell the wife? I think we're good here. I think we could just go and talk to her. No stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Nah, we're not going to respond to any of that. I don't care about that right now. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Yeah. Obviously, someone got a little heavy-handed. It's the wrong way around. Yeah, exactly. So genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car, and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. Yeah, really. They took the body That's with them? What the hell's that about? Doesn't add up. True that, man. That doesn't add up at all, actually. <clears throat> I wish I could remember who the killer was, but I don't remember. Now, where the heck is this residence? How far are they? Turn these on right here so everyone gets out of my way. He stops the car and gets out. He pops the hood and he's on a rail truck. Got it. Oh cool, we got a landmark got a here. Nice. Checking the oil and the Southern Pacific freight slams into his car. Nice, I found a landmark. Sweet. Car came to arrest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity working track. Yeah, it sucks that they never made a um sequel to this game. That would have been pretty cool like LA Noir 2 or New York Noir or something like that. Okay, we're at the house here, right? at the house uh, right there black residence 11 25 a.m see what we got here let's talk to mrs black let's go introduce ourselves you talk to ourselves yeah come on come on come on just a minute LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Uh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. All right, let's talk to person of interest. P-O-I, Margaret, Bra Mar husband, Mar Margaret Black. Husband, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. 
Oh, what? We knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no. My poor Adrian. <clears throat> Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've Quality heat at a low price. Home. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window. At the side of the house. Yeah, I remember like this part. Stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Let's take a look around this place. Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. All right, let's go take a look around this place. Well, let's check the place out. Uh, do we want to just like walk through the house or anything? Or it's got to be something in here to go on. Because we're gonna need to go outside. There's, there's a um, there's an insta heat kind of thing in the back. So, oh, what do we got here? I hear that little music. There's some music going on here. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Was it a club or something like that? Huh. Okay. So we. So someone went to a. Yeah. And I should have an address. We got that. We can take this newspaper here, but I don't really care about that stupid... Eh, all right, fine. Let's take the newspaper. Provides help to troubled vets. Let's watch this stupid video. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So. Girlfriend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. Is that another guy with like PTSD or something like that? I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. Yeah, yeah, I think he's got PTSD. Feels like it's in a vice. Only give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, occasions that made you laugh, times that made you smile. There you go. There's our there's our buddy Fontaine. I think he's going to be playing a bigger role in this game later on. Pretty sure he's at the heart of something. Cool. So we need to access, We need we need to get the phone right now. Grab the telephone right there. Who are we calling? Dispatch? Operator, give me dispatch. Yep, calling dispatch. Putting you through now. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Cool, Thanks we got the address there. That's good. We're going to go to that bar, check it out. Well, hold on a second. Before we leave, though, is there anything else here that we need to... Or there's some other stuff we got to check out. Hold on. Yeah, we're not done yet with all the clues. This must be Adrian's. Can we open this up right now? Let's crack that open. Stenzel, okay. Stenzel. Well, yeah. Glasses are a match. Well, yeah, so they are his glasses. Uh, what about this picture here? What's with the picture? We got anything here? Further investigation required. Crack that thing open. To my Adrian. Nicole. This thing gets more and more interesting. Okay. Is that his, that's not his wife, is it? His wife's name isn't Nicole. Wasn't it like Margaret or something like that? Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? Tickets? What? Hold on. Ooh, Seattle, Washington. Nice. Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. What in the world? So who's trying to make a run for it? Was he trying to make a run for it? Huh. These clues are going to help us out, by the way. Oh, they're going to help us out, all right. I don't know what the hell's going on around here, but it's getting real weird. What do we got here? That's his wife. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Yeah, I'm not sure they were living a happy marriage. I think they were pretty unhappy. Maybe she had him killed or something like that. You know what? We got more clues in the back, so let's not leave just yet. 
Do we have anything here? Hold on. We got something here. Is this another Cavanos? Yeah, it's another one of these. Yeah, we already saw that. We saw that in another room. Ooh, what do we got here? Insta heat. Okay. This was only recently installed. Not two days ago. Huh, okay. That's good. Time we took a look around outside. Here's the little insta heat pamphlet here. Huh. Whoa, dude. Insta heat, man. Have hot weather? What? Have hot weather? Whoops. 24 hours a day. I don't know what that's for. Insta heat flyer, okay. I don't know how is that really gonna help us that much? Let's put this stuff down. And I think Ooh, we got anything here? An iron? What is this for? I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think this has to do with anything. How about the iron? I don't think this has anything to do with anything. It doesn't look like anything. Yeah, it's just an iron. We need to go outside. We gotta check the insta heat thing. They had their insta heat set up right outside here. So where the hell is that thing? Right here. It's right friggin' here. This thing right here, insta heat. No leaving the thing half finished. What are we putting it together now? Come on now. What? I remember this part. We gotta put the insta heat thing in. <laughs> there we go. Put it in there. Then we're gonna grab that part. And this one goes, where does this one go? Right here. And then we're going to grab this. And put that right there. Then we got to get this one right here. And this one's going to go on the left, I think. Yeah, this one goes right here. And we're missing one. That one right there. Missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Ooh, nice. I got a trophy. The so plot the thickens. A little closer to home. Yeah, looks like uh, whoever beat him in the head with this thing was, like, literally right here. Okay, looks like we got all the clues in the area. Okay, you know what? We gotta talk to her again. Maybe we should talk to her one more time. Looks like we got we got, we got got some uh, we got some interesting evidence here, so we're not going anywhere. Where is she? Well, let's talk to her. She's clearly hiding something. Let's get some evidence from her. Uh, what do we got here? What's her alibi? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course. Well, I'm sure she was. She probably just paid someone to kill her husband. Uh, I feel like she might be hiding something. Let's see the notebook real quick. Bloody pipe, cabin on matchbook glasses, concealed. Los Angeles to Seattle. Uh, let's go. Do we want to go bad cop on her or do we want to go good cop? Yeah, let's go good cop. That's fine. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Huh. Photograph of... What's the Kavanaugh matchbook? Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. I can't tell... Well, it's true. I mean, he does, doesn't he? What what happens if we go bad cop on her? Well, let's use intuition real quick. Uh, all right, let's try this out. Remove an answer. Oh wow. Okay, so it's oh, okay. I'm gonna go with yeah, good cop. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently. Yeah. He's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Okay, he's been away in Seattle for a lot on business, huh? What about this photo of Nicole? What is this? Photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. She's definitely lying. 
What's a cues? There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. Now we got to present the, uh, where's the thing at? Where's the picture at? What the? Abandoned vehicle. Glasses. Concealed message. There we go. What about Nicole? Ooh, nice. We got another trophy. The straight dope. Yeah, she knows about it. See? Told you she knew. She knew. He thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know. Huh. What else we got here? Uh, what's the slaughterhouse receipt about? What's that about? A live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. Huh. Frank Morgan. Frank Morgan. There we go. Frank Morgan. We're going to talk to that guy. Yeah, good cop on that one. I'm not. I don't have anything. He's the foreman at my husband's plant. Very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. Okay. They're always out drinking together. What else we got here? We got stencil glasses and location of Enzel. Uh, stencil glasses. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Glasses when he left here yesterday. Yes, he just bought a new pair. Well, I'm good. Good cop on that one. There's nothing there. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. Okay. That checks out. Let's try the location of Adrian Black. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? Exactly. All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Frank, huh? So nothing out of the usual then. Well, he came home early from work. Okay. He never comes home early. Okay, well, that's strange. Hmm. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. We'll keep well, you informed. Oh, we got everything correct. Look at that. Nice. Please do. This. Sweet. Cool. We got more points. Nice. Plus one intuition point. Awesome. All right. Well, that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get out of here. And I guess we got to go back to. Uh, no, no, no. We're not going back to anywhere. Where, dude? Where's the door out of here? Where's the main door? I don't even know where the hell the door is. Oh man, I don't know where the door is. There it is. We need to go to Frank. We gotta go Frank, find Frank at that bar. Wherever that bar is, we gotta go there. Get in the car, Cole. All right, destination. We gotta go to Kavanaugh's bar. Let's go. Kavanaugh's bar. We're off. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Yeah, that was depressing. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful with that. Turn this into Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Man, listen to them advertising that old crap on the radio. There's no music, but it's just crummy advertisements. Did we go the right way, or did we just, like, totally go the wrong way? I'd like to get to my destination sooner than later. Oh, come on, guys. Get the hell out of my way. God, these guys are ridiculous. Take it easy. All right, guys, we're right on our location right here, so I think we're right at Kavanaugh's bar. Let's go ahead and talk to Frank. Stop right at the bar, right as we crashed into that car. Kavanaugh's bar, 11.50 a.m., got it. All right, let's get in there and have a conversation with some of these people. No, you don't. <laughs> hey, I know you. No, you don't. A turkey salad sandwich. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. 
There's a loner in the back. Or let's talk to Frank. I think it's in better days. Goddamn Harry thinks he could get Frank crushed Morgan? whenever he pleases. Who's asked? Oh, there he is. That's not Frank. That's a woman. This guy? Okay. Cole yeah, Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Okay. This guy's John a little Black's suspicious. Car, a Just a little. <laughs> covered in blood. Do you know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He's a good now boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. Well, he might be lying. Uh, do we have anything in the notebook? Abandoned vehicle, blood splashes. Bloody pipe, Kavanaugh's matchbook, glasses, concealed message. Uh, he's clearly lying, but let's go bad cop on him. You got? I mean, this guy's clearly hot. Oh, come on. How did we get that wrong? Oh, man, that sucks. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. Uh, he's clearly, he might be lying. I just don't. Beat you when he went missing. You're going to have to do a lot better than I don't recall. He had a couple of men left, I guess. Maybe he had to go meet someone. That's the best I can do. What, how do we get that one wrong as well? Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD Man. taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? You tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back. Man, to what the hell? How did I get both of those wrong? What the heck? I didn't know how to accuse him. I didn't. I don't. I didn't. I didn't know what evidence I had that I could directly accuse him of like of doing anything. I mean, I I could have said like, oh, he got his head bashed in with a pipe or whatever, but, but I don't. That doesn't connect this guy. Oh wait a minute, isn't this guy like an Insta Heat guy? Does this guy work for Insta Heat or does he work for somewhere else? I don't even know, dude. If he works for Insta Heat, then I probably could have said, oh, listen, they beat somebody beat him with an Insta Heat pipe and you work there, but I don't know if he did sure work there. I think he may have worked somewhere else. I don't know. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. All right, so we definitely know that he's got something to hide. He's running, so. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Where's this guy going? Whoa, 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 careful. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. Keep a little distance. Just a little distance. Man, I hate when you get stuff wrong, like you ask the wrong questions or something, and uh Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to keep a low profile, I'm just hitting everything and smashing and everything. Yeah, it sucks when you get questions wrong, man. I hate that. Man, that was lame. Dude, I got both of them wrong. Ugh. No points for me. I want to pull back a little, buddy. Guy's getting real suspicious. If the icon's flashing, that means he's getting suspicious. So don't let it flash. And look at these old buildings, man. Sweet. Come on, where's this guy going? I can't remember if, like, if the guy actually got killed, or maybe they, like, staged his death or something like that. Maybe he wanted to leave his wife, so they just faked his own... He faked his own death and just wanted to go back to Seattle or something. Come on, get out of the way, man. Ah, that's it. We're spotted. Back off. Hey, back off. What do you mean we're spotted? No, we're not. Now he got a little suspicious, but he's not... We didn't, we didn't get spotted, though. We're fine. I thought the mission was over. I was like, what, did I mess that up? What are you talking about? Man, this guy's just taking forever. God. Just get to your destination, dude, so we where can arrest you. Us, yeah, where is he taking us? That's a good question. Whoa, 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 careful. Don't let him get suspicious. Whatever you do, don't let the man... Don't let him get suspicious. What's going on right here? Is he taking a... Did he stop? He stopped, okay. Morgan's apartment, 5.41 p.m. All right. Oh, let's get out of here. Ooh, nice. I got a uh, trophy. The shadow. Nice. Okay, come on. Let's get in there. Let's go in there and talk to this guy. Or, maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's hiding a body in there or something. 
All right, where's Morgan at? Morgan, Morgan, number one. Okay. Morgan, number one. Oh, there's oh, it's Morrison. Oh, my bad. Okay, Mor Morgan, number two. Never mind. Scratch that. All right. Let's pay our friend a visit. See Where the hell's the apartment? Where's apartment number two? I don't even know where number two. Oh, there it is. There's number two. Who the hell is that? Oh, see, he's hiding him. Relax. Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Hey, guys. Oh, shit. Not so much in the clear now, are you? It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LAPD. Why is Give Mr. Black there. running? What in the hell? Oh, come on, man. Okay, so it looks like Adrian tried to fake his own death. <laughs> tried to fake his own death instead of There's divorcing no his wife, here. really? Dude, you should have just divorced your wife. It was like the 1940s. You probably could have gotten all the money and just left her in the gutter and just ran off. Mr. Black, get back Come on, Mr. Right Black, now. get over here. Stop being an a-hole. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Where is he? I don't know where he is. It's Stop over, there, Adrian. Grab him. Come on, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Yeah, why'd you do this whole thing, man? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Really? Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. Why would he... Really? You Why? Know, He's going to go to prison. Really? They'd throw him in prison for that? Wouldn't they just make him pay a hefty fine? That turned out to be quite some case, huh? That was an interesting case there. Trying to fake his own you death. Arrest and a clearance in your first case. Nice. Fine style too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique. Good public presence. Yep. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You can go a long way in this department. There we go. Mission complete. We do the driver's seat case report. Whoa. Wow, that's an awful lot of damage. Wow, we have four, so we have $1,456 worth of damage, zero injury. That's vehicle damage, my bad. City damage is 148. Clues found, 13 of 14. Questions correct, 8 out of 10. All right, that's not bad. Cool, let's move on. All right, guys, that is it for this episode of L.A. Noir. I will see you guys again next time. So until then, Sly Dog Industry signing out. I will be back with more L.A. Noir soon enough. And uh, see you later, guys. Take care.